I've been sleeping on my pillows for some time. I love them. They're simply the very best pillows ever made. But I just found out that they also have a wide assortment of other incredible products like their mattress top, sheets, towels, and slippers, and more. In my time, we had a name for men who sold bedrooms for one night. In your time, the name is Terry McCorriff and the Clinton Fleas once and for all. She said, you did, you did a wonderful job on September 11th. And therefore, I'm making you an honorary knight, commander of the royal something or other. If you've been watching Rudy Giuliani over the past year or two, you might think, man, that guy has fallen so far. He's just, he's just gotten so low. How could he drop any farther? Well, he's finding ways. He's got his show, and his show needs to make some money, which leads to ads like this. I've been sleeping on my pillows for some time. I love them. They're simply the very best pillows ever made. But I just found out that they also have a wide assortment of other incredible products like their mattress toppers, sheets, towels, and slippers, and more. <laughs> and more. Um, I know that there's a lot of questions that you probably have after that ad. How does one use a pillow when one sleeps upside down, hanging from the top of a cave? I don't know, <laughs> um, but that's. That's his life, Rudy Giuliani, former mayor of New York, lawyer to a president, hawker of slippers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't, just looking at Rudy Giuliani, I don't think he should be selling products, advertising a good night's sleep, <laughs> bathing, or generally being in comfort. Mm -hmm. Because looking at him, I'm like, are you getting a good night's sleep? <laughs> Have you been bathing? <laughs> are you comfortable? Because I don't, I don't think you are, Rudy. <laughs> I think maybe you should take a nap on something besides the my pillow so that you stop looking that bad. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I'm sorry. Um, I think the good news that everyone should think about is while you are getting exploited by capitalism, going to work every single day, and it's beating you down. At the end of the day. Capitalism beats down even Rudy Giuliani mm -hmm. <laughs> because for him to have to be, you know, going out and hawking pillows after all that he's done, he was he was the, the the attorney, personal attorney for the president of the United States, and here he is. He's got to do what I got to do. I got to put a commercial break in the middle of my show yeah. to make sure I can pay some bills, and so does Rudy Giuliani. So if you are feeling <laughs> depression from capitalism, just know it's oppressive to the ruling elite as well. They just That's don't want to admit it. Virginia, vote against the man. Who dishonored our past by selling my bedroom hundreds and hundreds of times to scoundrels in a pay for play scheme? In my time, we had a name for men who sold bedrooms for one night. In your time, the name is Terry McCorriff and the Clinton Fleas once and for all. Cool. What? The that that's America's mayor, um, almost president. <laughs> someone in his family needs to lock him in a basement. Mm -hmm. Because it's like kind of an ad. I'm guessing he got paid. I like. Is it oh, better maybe. or worse if he got paid? Better. If he did that for free, better. Like who is that <laughs> convincing? So. It's obviously not going to convince a liberal or a progressive or a sane person. So, what is it supposed to like fire up the base? Like, yeah, you know, Terry McAuliffe, he's a Democrat, he might become the governor of my state. I wasn't really invested in it for policy reasons, but yeah, there is this conspiracy theory from the 90s, so I guess I'll vote. Bro, you went around pretending as if the election was stolen from Donald Trump. Yeah, but now he's on the That stadium. was your grift. <laughs> that was your grift. Yeah. Like, shut up, right? So that's why I say it's better that he's getting paid. Like, mm -hmm. to clown yourself for free is definitely worse. She said, you did, you did a wonderful job <laughs> on September 11. And therefore, I'm making you an honorary knight, commander. Of the royal something or other. <laughs> I turned down a knighthood because if you took a knighthood, you had to lose your citizenship. I know Prince Andrew is very like, questionable now. I never went out with him, ever. 
Never, never had a drink with him. Never was with a woman or a young girl with him. Ever, ever, ever. One time, I met him in my office, and one time when we had the party, right, Bernie? You were there. <laughs> so he's likely referring to um, Bernie Karen. Couric, uh, the former New York City Police Commissioner. Um, I, I just want to know, like, who in the audience is laughing at that stuff? Like, and so now he comes and gives this. What appears to be a drunk speech, because first of all, he's mocking the queen. But okay, so I don't care about mocking the queen, but it's kind of a weird thing to do on a serious 9 11 speech. Mm -hmm. And then he starts riffing, like now he's having fun. And he's like, and then Prince Andrew, I mean, I, I, I never went out for a drink. I mean, I like to go out for drinks, but not with Andrew. I mean, I, didn't. I mean, he was in the office, so Bernie, you remember that? Bernie's like, oh, please stop talking, right? And, and then he's like, now look, and I was never with the women with Andrew, never with the young women. Who asked? She said, he said, I'm not even sure what the significance of using that word is. Am I a functioning alcoholic? No. <laughs> so apparently you are aware of the significance. That's why you used it correctly in the very next sentence. And also, he's not a functioning <laughs> alcoholic. He's not functioning. Dude, there's stuff running down your face and things running out of your mouth, okay? You are not at all functioning. The reason why it's an issue is because we can all tell you're not functioning. Come and on. Here's, you know how Come someone's on. an alcoholic? When they say this, I've never been treated for alcoholism. You know what that means? You can't prove it. You can't prove it. If you ask me, hey, Cenk, are you an alcoholic? That'd be out of the blue. It got nothing to do with alcoholism, right? And I might say, be defensive because why are you asking me out of nowhere, right? But I wouldn't say, I've never been treated for it. 